We are here to talk about the best strollers of 2023. And holy guacamole, there are a monster truckload of different categories of strollers. Compact strollers, travel systems, compact travel strollers, lightweight strollers, umbrella strollers, full size, double, convertible, jogging, running, so many, it's impossible to keep track of them all. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know the ins and outs of all the bajillion different strollers out there. What I am going to do in this video is simply talk about strollers that I like, simple. Now, because strollers can multiply like rabbits, we're also going to be giving away a couple of brand new strollers we tested. So stay tuned till the end of the video to see how you can win one of our picks of top strollers for 2023. Also, this video is sponsored by Nana, our top baby monitor pick five years running. So stay tuned for an exclusive discount at the end of this video. Let's start off my favorite compact stroller, and that is the Kalugo Compact Stroller. My favorite feature of the Kalugo Compact is the one-handed closing mechanism, and it makes it by far the easiest stroller to open and close of any stroller I've tested. I also really love the magnetic harness because that oh-so-satisfying click definitely lets you know when your kit is secure. Now, the stroller has a weight limit of 55 pounds, which is on the higher end for compact strollers, uh, which definitely adds to its overall longevity. Now, if you're a new parent, then you'll quickly quickly come to find just how efficient children are at making things dirty, especially items like car seats and strollers. So it's just a matter of time before that happens, but when it does, the seat cover is fully removable and 100% washable, if that makes sense. Uh, and also 100% wipeable, if that makes sense. So overall, this is a great stroller that's not going to break the bank. Plus it comes with a 100 day money back guarantee return policy. Oh, and real quick, if you're interested in buying one of these strollers in this list, you can do so by clicking the affiliate links below in the description. All right, the next stroller on this list is on the more expensive end of the uh, pricing spectrum uh, for compact strollers, and that's the Up A Baby Menu. Now, this stroller comes in at about 450 bucks, which again is definitely on the extreme end of the pricing spectrum for compact strollers. It's almost double what the Kalugo costs, but with this high price tag, you're getting a really well-made, lightweight stroller that collapses down quite easily. So the menu comes with a soft and supple full grain leather handlebar. Similar to the Kalugo, the menu is equipped with a one hand fold mechanism. But in my opinion, it's not as easy to close as the Kalugo, but again, it's still quite easy to close. Now the basket has a 20 pound weight capacity, which is quite a bit for a compact stroller. It means that you can stow your full grown Schweeney named mini drooler safely below. And yes, there is a breed of dog out there called a Schweeney. All right, next up, uh, I'm gonna actually throw a curveball here uh, and talk about a stroller that's fairly popular and highly ranked on a lot of the best ofs, uh, and then take a shit all over it, like your newborn might. Now I'm talking about the Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2. Now, because I'm the fairest baby product reviewer on YouTube, I'll start off with some positive highlights. First, the uh, Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2 has a pretty nice curb appeal. It's got some nice, sleek contouring lines, some white wall wheels, and wrapped in a soft but durable fabric. It's also an extremely lightweight stroller weighing at just over 14 pounds. But after that, you've got, in my opinion, a typical run-of-the-mill stroller, especially for a stroller that comes in at 450 bucks. Now, the reclinable seat rocks a five-point harness buckling system. There's an extendable sunshade with a UPF rating of 50 plus. But like I said, run-of-the-mill because a lot of strollers have the same features. Now, when looking at the basket underneath, the opening is very narrow, which means you'll probably have some issues getting larger bags uh, like this Fathercraft bag back here to fit easily in the basket. Now, another issue with this basket, it's got these bars running through it uh, that reduce the overall space in which to carry things, so not an ideal placement. The stroller does fold up quite compactly, and according to the website, will easily fit in the overhead bin of an airplane, but actually folding the stroller is quite annoying. You've got to press this little button thingy uh, and pull on this lever doohickey, and it's actually tucked under the seat, so you kind of got to get down and reach around until you find what you're looking for. So to summarize, uh, it's a super nice looking stroller, uh, but also super expensive, with not a whole lot of features to write home about. All right. Next up on the list is the Baby Jogger City Mini. So basically this is a cross between a jogging stroller and an everyday around the town stroller. Although the Baby Jogger website says the stroller is not intended for jogging. Now you can convert the City Mini into a travel system by purchasing some accessories. So for 70 bucks, you can purchase a car seat adapter that will fit the Chico and Peg Perego line of car seats. You've also got an option to buy a Pram, which is basically a mobile bassinet. Now, I feel obligated to say that these accessories will run you between 300 and 400 bucks on top of the $400 that the stroller itself already costs. The City Mini has a 65 pound weight limit, which is relatively high for a stroller, and it comes with all wheel suspension, which helps when navigating tougher terrain. The tires are labeled as forever filled rubber tires, which means you won't ever have to worry about getting a flat. The handlebar is adjustable and comes with a unique hand operating parking brake, which took a little getting used to because I'm used to using my feet, 
but in spite of all that, still quite simple to engage and kind of convenient to have right there by your hands. When it comes to storing the City Mini, there's a one-handed folding mechanism on the seat, which is very convenient and easy to use. Now, underneath the seat, you'll find a decently sized basket, but there's also this bar that spans across the basket and it takes away a lot of the carrying space. So it's a bit of a pain, but all in all, this is a great full size stroller for the price. Next up is the Mockingbird single to double. If you're not the one and done type, you might want to consider a stroller that can convert to a double when baby number two comes along. The Mockingbird stroller handlebar is wrapped in stylish brown leather and provides a super comfortable grip. The one head fold mechanism can be found in the middle of the handlebar and as its name implies, allows you to fold the stroller one-handed. Now looking further down the handlebar, you'll find side buttons that adjust the level of the handlebars, which is uh, pretty convenient. Like most strollers, the canopy has a UPF rating of 50 plus. The back of the canopy can be unzipped, allowing for more airflow through the canopy. And as a free added bonus, the Mockingbird stroller comes with a sunshade that covers the entire seat when fully extended. Now the aluminum frame is quite sturdy and weighs in at around 26 pounds, which is fairly lightweight considering its single to double nature. Underneath the stroller, you'll find a fairly cavernous basket that can hold up to 25 pounds. Now, if you have a newborn, you can buy a car seat adapter, which is compatible with a long list of car seat brands, and it's really easy to detach and detach the seats to accommodate your desired configuration. So all in all, a great single to double option. All right, the next up on the list is the Graco Nest to Grow uh, four in one stroller. Now the Graco is what I like to call a Jayco of all trades. It's a single double, a travel system, and a bassinet all in one. The travel system comes with the Graco Snug Ride 35 Lite Elite Infant Car Seat, which is a mouthful, uh, but is also really easy to install on the stroller with the car seat adapters. The slide to me height adjustable seat is easy to operate, which allows you to move your baby closer or farther away from you. Now, like I said, it comes with a car seat, so you can use the stroller from birth all the way up to 50 pounds using the toddler seat. With some adapters and the purchase of a second toddler seat for 140 bucks, this becomes a solid single to double option. And one of the best things about the Nest to Grow is that the toddler seat converts easily into a cozy bassinet, which means you don't have to spring for an additional expensive bassinet add-on. Now storing the stroller is a breeze with this one step self-standing fold. For a single double travel system, it folds up pretty nicely and actually stands on its end, and which helps again with the footprint when it comes to storing. It also comes with a removable child tray slash cup holder, which again is typically an accessory that you'd have to buy with many other stroller companies. The canopy is large and in charge and can be extended for additional shade, you know, in the good sense of the word. Underneath, you've got an expansive storage basket, which also extends if you need more carrying capacity, which is really cool. Around 430 bucks, the Graco Nest Grow travel system is turning out to be one of my favorite all around strollers because it's super versatile uh, and does a lot of the things it's supposed to do really well. You go, Graco, go. Moving on to the best wagon stroller, and for me, that is the Wonderfold W4 Lux Wagon Stroller. Now, the classic red radio flyer wagon may have been good enough for you and me and every other kid on the block, but these days, discerning babies demand bougie transportation. Now, for all you Mormons out there, if you have 12 kids and the essential oil biz is booming, get yourself a hell expensive baby wagon. Quite expensive, actually, at 899 bucks. Um, and also quite heavy with an overall weight of 63 pounds with the seats installed. Now there are no adapters for car seats, so per the website, the target demo is the six month and up age group, but you can comfortably seat up to four children. And the seat weight limit is 99 pounds per bench. Now there are two seats per bench, so doing the math, that's roughly 49-ish pounds per harness. Now each seat is equipped with a padded five point magnetic safety harness. What this also means is that as your kids continue to grow and potentially don't require a harness for normal around the town excursions, the benches can easily accommodate them. As I mentioned, the seats are removable. So if you're just looking to use the wonderful wagon for cargo, uh, it's got a weight capacity of up to 300 pounds. Now when the seats are installed, they're raised, which means your child is higher off the ground. And on top of that, the seats can be reclined, adding more flexibility to the seating arrangements. And because the center of gravity is higher off the ground, it also makes pushing this thing around a lot easier. The Wonderful also has an adjustable and removable canopy that covers the length of the wagon for uh, ultimate sun protection. Now the vegan leather wrapped handlebars of the wagon are adjustable for parents of varying heights. The Wonderful wagon comes with ample storage space, which includes pockets on all sides and a removable rear basket to hold all of your essentials. The all-terrain extra large wheels have great suspension and come with bearings, which helps create a smooth ride and easy maneuvering. One of my kids' favorite aspects of the Wonderful is the front zippered doggy door entrance for easy access to the carriage. Now, I recently took a trip to visit my brother-in-law and co-founder of Fathercraft, Paul, and it was immediately apparent that the doggy door was a huge hit for all of the kids. Now, I really love the Wonderfold because to me, it's a true wagon stroller hybrid. 
It pushes like a stroller, it has the room of a wagon. So again, I highly recommend this one. All right, now let's take a look at a, uh, another wagon in the same class as the Wonderfold, and that's the Beer Cruiser XL. And I have to admit that at first glance, everything about this wagon gets my dopamine receptors firing on all cylinders. I mean, it just looks sleek as hell. Now, I like to say it's uh, got this perfect blend of ruggedness and sophistication, kind of like Kevin Costner. So spec-wise, there's room enough for four kids, um, but on the littler end, and each seat has a three-point harness system. The seats are not adjustable though, and there isn't a whole lot of padding to speak of like traditional strollers, so that's something to definitely keep in mind. But each seat does have a 55 pound carrying capacity, so that's on the higher end when it comes to comparing this to other strollers. And if you want to carry any non-kid related items, it can hold up to 300 pounds. There isn't a whole lot of storage options to speak of, again, unless you buy some rather pricey accessories. I'll be doing a much more in-depth review of the Veer Cruiser coming up soon, but to sum up, it's a great wagon option, but definitely not an everyday stroller. All right, before we get to the next stroller, uh, I wanna say thanks again to Nanit for sponsoring this video. The Nanit Pro is one of my all-time favorite parenting tools. Extremely reliable with ultra clear 1080p resolution, the Nanit Pro is packed with smart features like breathing monitoring and a virtual sleep coach. Using computer vision tracking technology and an intuitive in-app dashboard, Nanit supplies parents with data on demand, including developmental milestone tracking and other essential insights into their baby's wellness. So enjoy 15% off Nanit today using our exclusive code at checkout on nanit.com. That is FatherCraft15, F-A-T-H-E-R-C-R-A-F-T-1-5. All one word. Thanks, Nanit. Back to the list. This is a long list and I am out of shape review-wise. Okay, let's power through this. All right, my favorite pure jogging stroller is the Thule Urban Glide 2. From strictly a runner standpoint, there is probably no better stroller. It ain't cheap with its $700 price point, uh, but it's definitely been maximized for running efficiency. So if running is your thing, definitely check this one out. It's super lightweight coming in at 25 pounds, but still feels extremely sturdy, especially when navigating corners. The max child weight that the Thule seat can hold is 49 pounds, and they get strapped in with a padded five point harness system. The Thule boasts a one-handed reclining mechanism, so all you have to do is to lift the leg rest thingy and twist the handlebar doohickey thingy, and it folds right up. The basket is also fairly spacious, and it has a 25-pound carrying capacity, which is pretty decent. It also comes with a cargo basket zip top cover to keep things nice and dry when you're running with your kids in the rain. But really, the biggest benefit of this is that things won't pop out of the basket as you're running, which is quite nice. It's got a nifty handlebar brake system that allows you to slow down the stroller with very little effort. The wheels also sit on some springy suspension to help navigate over rougher terrain. Would I recommend it as an everyday stroller? No, but if running is your thing and you're looking to include your child on jaunts around the town, then definitely consider this one. We're getting to my all-time favorite stroller, and that is the Bob Revolution Flex. The Bob Revolution Flex comes in around 500 bucks, which is honestly uh, quite reasonable considering how versatile it is. The fabric is made up of super durable, water-resistant canvas that wraps a solidly constructed aluminum frame, which weighs in around 24 pounds. The seat back can easily be reclined to a near vertical position by adjusting the strap on the back of the seat and has a maximum weight limit of 75 pounds, which is extremely high for a stroller or in this case, a joller, you know, stroller jogger. If you have a newborn, you can buy a car seat adapter that's compatible with many name brand car seats. Taking a look under the seat, you'll find that the cargo area is quite spacious. Now there's more than enough room to carry a diaper bag, a change of clothes, and even a box of donuts, which is a vital source of energy for your longer excursions. There's an adjustable foam pad on the handlebar, which can be raised uh, or lowered into nine different positions. To me, this Bob Revolution Flex has the best of both worlds. Whether you're running, strolling, or rolling, it's easy to fold, it's super durable, and it's mountain bike worthy suspension can handle rough terrain just as easily as city sidewalks. Plus the maximum weight limit is 75 pounds. So your child can ride in this thing for quite a long time making this an excellent stroller investment. As I mentioned, you can win one of our picks for best stroller of 2023 by doing these three things. One, like this video. Two, got a question about strollers? Ask it in the comments below or comment with what stroller you're looking forward to picking up for your new bundle of joy. Three, follow us here on YouTube. And finally, head on over to fathercraft.com win to let us know that you completed steps one to three. Now, this last part is Fairly important because if you don't, we won't know that you entered and you won't be eligible to win. For complete contest rules, see information in this video's description or at fathercraft.com slash win. fathercraft.com slash win. All right. Well, that is it for this video. 
Uh, but you're about to see a playlist pop up here with other stroller reviews. So check it out. All right, people. Thanks again. And I will see you in one of these reviews.